Hello everyone, and welcome to this promotional clip advertisement for another original drag racing production from Beyond Video. This promotional clip shows some of the footage contained in the two hour and 22 minute full length video featuring super stockers of the 1960s. Our Beyond Video cameras traveled to 30 different drag strips throughout the country, and you will see what it was like during the early years of Superstock Racing. This is Roanoke Dragway in Virginia, and check out the shoe polish SS on the windows of these cars. Great looking car, 348 with three twos, four speed transmission, great running car back. So this classic 348 1958 Chevrolet was run by Bill Connell. In the full length video, we take you to the 1961 U.S. Nationals at Indy and you see some of the hot super stockers in action. Dino Don with his optional Superstock 409 Impala. Al Ekstrand was driving the Ram Chargers 61 Dodge. Runway number four at Florida's Eglin Air Force Base is the location of our next segment. The Naval Auxiliary Air Station in Charlestown, Rhode Island also hosted drag racing back in the 1960s. Roosevelt Park on Long Island, New York was a horse race track, but it also hosted drag racing in its parking lot. We returned to Indy in 62 and boy did they have some super stockers running there. Well, that's Jim Wangers with the Royal Pontiac Superstock Catalina. Hubert Platt on the outside with the 409 Chevy and the WC Automotive Electric Pontiac on the near side. The Zinz Master Chevrolet Lightweight 409 Impala. Harold Ramsey with the Union Park Pontiac. Marvin Ford behind the wheel of the LA County Dodge Dart. That's Bill Lawton in the 406 powered Tasca Ford and Jess Tyree in the Pontiac Tempest. The old reliable taking on Len Richter. From our vantage point high atop the timing tower, we can see that a flagman was used to start the cars. This footage is from the Vineland Drag Strip in Vineland, New Jersey. Now keep in mind you are watching a promotional clip from our full length two hour and 22 minute video production entitled Super Stockers of the 1960s. Well, one of the hot Super Stockers running on this day was Bob Harrop and his Harrop Crescent 63 Dodge. Dragway 42 in West Salem, Ohio hosted the Drag New Stock Car Invitational in July 1963. One of the cars competing at the race was Hubert Platt's 63 Z11 Chevrolet. Well, here we see Hubert making a test pass down a quarter mile at Dragway 42. Check out this cool footage of a 1963 Z11 Chevrolet getting worked on at a gas station in Albany, Georgia. I'll tell you, this is a great story in our full-length video. Bob Beck, Mr. Quick is in the Paul Ford Galaxy. And that's Rich Lamont in the Norristown Ford Thunderbolt. This footage is from Cecil County Dragway, and we have a special story about Joe Gardner's Northwind 409 Chevy in the full-length video. It was a short tow from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Mason Dixon, and you could find the honker at Hagerstown on a regular basis. 
Tom Sneedon in the Bob Bannon sponsored Bounty Hunters Dodge. Malcolm Durham and Joe Mayhew talk with the fans at Mason Dixon before bringing out the Strip Blazer Z11 Chevrolet. And that's the Academy Ford out of Laurel, Maryland. Okay, we're gonna follow Dave Strickler, Bill Jenkins, and Jerry Stahl as they head up to Connecticut Dragway for a special match race with Tasca Ford. The old reliable team used a ramp truck to get to Connecticut. And once they got there, they unloaded and got ready for a battle with the Tasca Ford Thunderbolt. Dave Strickler is one of the best gear changers in the country. Add to that a crew consisting of Bill Jenkins and Jerry Stahl, and there's no doubt that they were ready for battle. Munty Dragway is located about an hour and a half northeast of Indy, and it was often used to do testing prior to the NHRA National Drag Races. As you can see, the Super Stockers are here and ready to run. That's Dave Weil running the Bob Ford 63 Galaxy. Detroit Dragway was the home track for the big three automakers, and you could always find a terrific group of Super Stockers there. Next up, the Ram Chargers out of Hodges Dodges on Woodward Avenue in Ferndale. That's John Foss with the Flag Jumper Dodge out of Farmington, Michigan. At the NHRA U.S. Nationals at Indy in 1963, our Super Stockers came face to face with the new Christmas Tree Starting System. There's Gas Ronda with a 63 Superstock Ford. More Superstock action from 1964. On this day, Malcolm Durham was set to challenge Al Ekstrand and his lawman Plymouth in a best of three match race. Malcolm had his 427 powered 64 Chevelle in the pit area at Island Dragway and he was surrounded by fans wanting an up-close look at the Strip Blazer II Chevelle. And Malcolm jumps out to a head start. Cecil County was the site of a multi-car match race in 1964. That's the Dodge Boys, Strickler and Jenkins. Well, that's Buddy Martin working on Ronnie Sox's 64 Comet. Another 64 AFX Comp that ran in the Mid-Atlantic area was the one driven by George Weiler of Birdsboro, Pennsylvania. Great Lakes Dragway was another one of those drag strips that hosted the Super Stockers every weekend. This 64 AFX Comet was sponsored by Moyer Mercury of Frederick, Maryland, and we have a great story about the car in our full-length video. Now, before we hear more about the Moyer Mercury AFXer, let's take in some action at the 1964 NHRA U.S. Nationals in Indy. Jim Thornton's in the Ram Chargers car, and Roger Lindemood is in the Color Me Gone Dodge. The Color Me Gone Dodge would win the race and become the Mr. Stock Eliminator champion. Our story moves to the Phoenix Dragway in Phoenix City, Alabama, where we see the Color Me Gone Dodge mixed in with a bunch of Southern style super stockers. Today, guys, we're going for a ride inside Dino Don Nicholson 64 Comet Wagon. Unbelievable. You can see the tack, and you'll watch it come up to about 3,500 on the uh, staging, and then seven grand through the, through the gear. I'll show this to you twice, but look and listen. We're going back to Phoenix Dragway and see a match race between Billy Big Deal Jacobs and his 1965 Hemi Dodge Dart called Kid Goat. 
and Dino Don Nicholson of Atlanta, Georgia with his 1965 AFX Mercury Comet. Dino Don Nicholson is one of the biggest names in drag racing and today he is putting his reputation on the line in a best of three match race against Billy Jacobs and his Hemi powered Dodge Dart. Well, here we are at a Quasco Dragway in Maryland for the annual running of the President's Gold Cup race. And check out the new look of the Moyer Mercury 64 AFXer. Now, let's look at early 1965 and one of the 11 AFX Mustangs that were created at the Holman & Moody shop in North Carolina for the Ford Motor Company. Bob Hamilton is the owner-driver of this car and he runs with sponsorship help from Larson Ford of White Plains, New York. Keep in mind that you are looking at a promotional clip of our full-length two-hour and 22-minute video featuring the Superstockers of the 1960s. The full-length video contains relevant narration about the cars, the drivers, and the drag strips that are shown. The first car featured in this match race is the Tasca Ford. The second car featured is the Bob Hamilton Larson Ford Mustang. Man, I love the burnouts through the gold dust. Our full-length video includes interviews with some of the people who were part of the super stock drag racing scene back in the 1960s. Hear in their own words what it was like to be part of this never-to-be-duplicated era of the sport. These interviews are absolutely priceless. Hear Joe Gardner talk about the North Wind. And I put it on the racetrack. Carl Tasca talks about the Tasca team. It wasn't even painted up. The grumpy well, one talks one about his 63 Z11 Chevy. In the total history of drag racing ever owned. Legendary Chevrolet, Chevrolet racer uh, Malcolm Durham. Ford and, uh, racer uh, Al uh, Joniak. <laughs> Ohio <laughs> George Montgomery very, talks very about his uh, 64 uh, AFX Comet. Bob Beezer was the guy we saw wearing Native American clothing at NHRA drag races back in the 1960s. Sam Oxier Jr. tells us how he got involved in drag racing and how he got involved with the Moyer Mercury team. Butch Wheel talks with us about his super stock class win at Indy in 1964. Jimmy Arnold bought the car of Megan Dodge right after the Indy victory and raced it as a super stocker down south. Mopar racer Billy Big Deal Jacobs raced Dino Don on more than one occasion. Bob Hamilton tells us about his 65 AFX Mustang. Former Ford engineer Vern Tinsler worked on the 65 AFX Mustang project. We close out our full-length video with a preview of what takes place in the second half of the 1960s. By 1967, many of the big-name racers returned to showroom appearance superstockers. From Piedmont, North Carolina on the East Coast to Fremont Dragway on the West Coast, superstockers were putting on a show for drag racing fans. Look forward to more super stockers of the 1960s from our Beyond Video Film Library.